I'm going to finish up the dress by attaching the neck band. So what I'm going to do now is to first attach the belt to the neck band. Here is the belt strip. I will attach the, the open end of the belt so just like this. So with right sides facing together and with that open end of the belt sandwiched between it, I'll pin this now to make it easier for me. And I'll do the same to the other one as well. So I'm stitching it now. And I'm using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So that's it. I've turned it out now. Belt is now attached. You can see that. So I'll turn the second one as well. This is the second one. So you can see the belt is now ready. And I'm going to stitch onto this 3 eighths of an inch onto the, the dress. But before I attach the band to the dress, what I will do is join the two neck bands together. Place the two together like this and then we're going to stitch it together so i've put right sides together and i'm going to stitch it with a three over eight inch seam allowance so here i'm stitching the band together that's it next I'm going to press the seam open and then I press it down as well so folding it into two so I'm going to press it all the way down So now we've prepared the band, we're going to attach it to the dress. So here I'm attaching the neck band to the dress. So what I'm going to do first is to make some marks halfway between end of the belt and uh, center back seam, the belt, I'll snip in just to mark that center. So I've already done that. So I use my scissors to snip that. So I have a little snip there just to note that halfway point. Then also on the dress, so on the dress, so this is the center back of the dress and this is the front. So I'm going to also do that for that halfway and then create a snip there just to mark the halfway point. So you see, I've already created a little snip there. And the aim of that is to help us to align this belt evenly across the uh, the neck of the dress so i'm going to match this center back of the neck band to the center back of the dress and i'll pin that also i will match the center just marked to the little snip midway point so i'm matching the midway points that we snipped in and also I'll pin that. Then I will match the end of the neck of the dress to the end of the uh, band as well. And I'll pin that. So that way I've now evenly distributed the band. So I'm going to stretch it out a bit and pin it all the way so that I get an even distribution. I'll do the same on the other side as well. So now I've pinned it all evenly. I will now take it to the machine to sew. 
so here i'm sewing it now attaching the neckband to the dress after pinning it right through So here I finish attaching the the neckband along with the belt. So we're going to have it like this. So this will pass through the opening that we left out, just like that. Dress is set. So now I'm going to clean up the opening that we have here. And then hem the the sleeve and also hem the dress and then we'll be all done also I'm going to clean up this seam and give it a really good press and I'll show you the completed dress so here I'm overlooking the neck <laughs> So here is the dress all done now. I've gone ahead and overlocked this uh, neck area. If you don't have an overlocking machine, you can also um, use your uh, pinking shears, the zigzag scissors to trim that just to knitting the seam on the inside. And I've also sewn where we the belt um, loophole that we left. I've also just stitched around it and I've gone ahead to hem the, the sleeve and also to hem the dress. So it's all done now. <laughs> 